Okay. Hi, you guys. Okay. So this one I actually scheduled in advance. Gave some notice. <laughs> right? I think I did a good job on that. So let's tackle my other stockpile jewelry because I'm still not going out sourcing. I may try a few garage sales this weekend because I'm just really wanting to go out and buy some things. Just, ah, it's in kind of an addiction for us, right? Okay, so I, I'm going to tilt the camera down so you'll just see like my hands and stuff, okay? But I'm here, so let's get the camera tilted down and get it ready how we want it. Okay, let's see. Is that okay? Maybe. So this box, this is the kit that I bought, um, the precious metal testing kit. Um, I took Thelma Thrift's recommendation, and I think, um, hello, let's be happy. I think Tanya still, Tanya uses it, and um, Thrifty Treasures, and Angie, Treasured Vintage, Barb, Picky Chick, Anita Fanita, <laughs> Jennifer Hayes. I think most of them use a, a kit like this. There are better ways to do it, but they're more expensive. Now, I don't really know how to use it, except we're seeing what Thelma did with putting a little scratch on this piece and then the different types of solutions for the different type of um, metal that you're testing for. So it was about $14.50 on eBay, $14.99 free shipping, okay, for that. And I'll try testing some things later. All right, let's, let me get, I'm going to empty this box. I just wanted to show you that. Oh, by the way, this is a Murano piece, a Murano glass piece. It might even be a summer so. I'm not sure for those of you that are doing vintage glass with me too, um, but it's all scratched up. So I'm just keeping it for myself. Okay, so the testing kit. Now let's get this and put some stuff on the table. Oops, I just dropped something. Oh never done jewelry before so bear with me you guys I've never done jewelry before probably don't need my phone in the way either do we I wasn't sure what color so I got blue velvet and some white so um you know what else I do I I buy cute jewelry boxes from the thrift store I was buying those too to you know in preparation for the day when the day came that I'm going to tackle jewelry, this is like a um, necklace holder, right? It's from a local jeweler here. I've been there, so that's what some of these things are. Now, uh, uh, other things that are on top. I don't know if you if you follow me, you might remember. Hi, Carrie. Hi, um, Audra. A. Nice nails, thank you. Mermaid press on nails. <laughs> Mermaid press on nails. Um, when I found this for $2.49, and this is um, sterling silver. So that's why this is in here because I haven't decided whether to sell it or scrap it. Most likely, since it's a vintage piece, I'm going to try selling it first. And then I still have a bunch. Hang on for that noise. A bunch of sterling silver flatware that I got years ago at the Goodwill. I looked up the pattern and everything. I don't remember it now. It's probably on here. These are Reed and Barton sterling silver marks. Haven't even been opened. I don't know if there's still one with a price tag, but they were 19 cents. I kid you not. Wait a minute. Oh, 79 cents for this one. Yeah, you can't see it. So it's just another one of those things. And then I found some loose ones. It's just another one of those things. Do I scrap or do I sell for replacement? Especially these that are still sealed. I mean, not just resealed, factory sealed and never open. That's not like a Ziploc. So this, you know, has replacement value and it's a Reed and Barton. And then it also has scrap value for sterling silver. <laughs> Audra, I don't know because you know there are I think there were a few good pieces in there so anyways that's what this is doing in here oh 
So let's just get everything out. Uh, this was the paper where my daughter and I looked up what prices those were at one time, how much each one of them weighed, and what scrap was on them. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's just dump everything out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gotta save that receipt. Oh, some of this I seriously do not remember. I don't remember. I remember thinking these might be Bakelite, but they weren't. But I bought them anyways because they're Mark Jacob. That is. Oh, this was recent. This was recent. That's sterling silver. It's a chunky owl. That was recent. This isn't real, but I, isn't this a Tiffany copy? Isn't that a Tiffany with the little bow? But it's not real. But I think that's a Tiffany copy. I'll bring my camera in closer in just a minute, you guys. I'll work that out for us. Okay, that's just broken pieces for crafting. Okay, and then and then here's some even older stuff. Let's do this real quick, because then what's left in here is really older stuff, like when I first started. Oh my gosh! And I there's some I know there's some Trafari in there. I know that. Let's see about these costume pieces real quick. Let me figure this out for us. Okay. So I'm not used to doing this kind of thing. So you guys forgive me. This I got up on a mountain road trip. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret eyeshadow compact. Never used. So I'm hoping maybe to sell this for a prop or something. Never used. It still has the plastic coating on it. Very vintage from the 90s. That must have been when Victoria's Secret first started, y'all. So maybe there's a... 1991 it says 1991 so maybe there's a collector there it is maybe there's a collector for something like this or someone might use it for a prop but yeah victoria's secret vintage victoria's secret eyeshadow compact all right so yeah i when i spotted these in the showcase i'm like well let me look those might be bakelite i don't know what i'm doing um, I just knew it kind of looked like Bakelite, right? And they were like $1.99, so I still went ahead and got them because they're uh, Marc Jacobs. And so they're signed on the inside with spell out, and this is going to be hard for me to learn how to do. Sorry. Okay, that says Marc Jacobs. I'm not as good as the other jewelry girls at displaying this stuff. So Marc Jacobs clothing does fairly well. You can see the spell out now. See the spell out in there? So um, I thought I'd go ahead and try these bangles. They were cheap enough. And they're kind of cool, right? They're kind of mod, re a nod to retro. Let's get this out of the way. So you guys probably remember this. This wasn't too long ago. This was in the craft aisle. It was $6.99. So we did kind of look at this at the time, those of you that follow me a lot. There's a lot of pins. They're just newer costume, okay? Nothing was really older that I could tell except for maybe this pin and scarf holder. Except for maybe this with the, would you say jelly belly or is that only for animals? Um, I'll say Cocobon, right? Co Co Cochabon. I think it's jelly belly if it's on an animal. But anyway, so it's a scarf thing or it could be a brooch or I guess both. So I think that's the only thing that might be vintage out of this $6.99 box. But there was some cute stuff in here that I still think would be fine. And I'll, the rest I'll just lot up or build my own little jewelry jar for resale. It's still cute. Looks like I have to untangle some stuff. So it's still cute stuff. See, this has rhinestone balls on it too so and this one's not a bad looking set a three strand that's not a bad looking little set even though it's new there's no charm on it 
that indicate, you know, how sometimes there'll be a charm and it'll say, you know, like, I don't know, charming Charlie or um, help me Chico's or something like that, you know, or to tell kind of what it was from. But it's not the cheapest costume drawer I've ever seen. Um, just a lot of brooches were in here, a lot of brooches. So, but they're new. So I picked out one brooch that I wanted and kept for myself. And I think the rest of this, I'm just going to lot it back up and sell it. So nothing has any kind of name attached to it. This is a long, this is a long necklace. Or you can make it a little shorter, see. That's not real turquoise, though. It's just turquoise look. It's not as blue as it looks like on my camera. So... I think a crafter might want this lot or someone who's making one of those Christmas tree plaques out of jewelry, right? Might like all of these brooches for that thing. You know what I'm talking about? Where they make it like a Christmas tree or something on a, on a picture. So, and this is one of those things you put in your purse and then when you're out to eat you know this goes on the table and you can hang your purse under the table I should probably keep that I guess I usually put my purse in my lap though like I'm that paranoid and we don't really go out to eat a lot so none of this is real just a little charm okay I'm moving on from this but overall I think this was okay for $6.99, I pulled out a brooch that I like, and I think I'll lock the rest of it back up or build my own jewelry jar. Keep this nice little divider and build my own jewelry jar um, for someone, a crafter jewelry jar. That's what I think about that. So let's get that off of here. All right. I got this on a road trip, too. It looks kind of vintage, right? But it's really, when I Googled it, or uh, when I looked on eBay, I remember when I bought this about four months ago, um, it's a Chinese import. So, but it's prettier than most of the other um, Chinese imports. It's definitely prettier. They were like gold, gold or silver. And this one's kind of an antique, but people do like salamanders and things like that. So it's probably only worth about $12 or so. So I may put it up or I may put it in a, a lot as well okay so there's that but if anybody sees something you want you holler out and i'll put it aside for you this is still sealed a dollar 99 it's still sealed front and back this is that rose colored metal a lot of beautiful like mother of pearl or moonstone con concubines i need to know how to say that apparently con concubines i'll figure out how to say it and um, a nice little owl. So I'm like, okay, it's new. It's costume jewelry. But look, it's in, it's still sealed in its box. It was $1.99. So I think owls are trending. So this one I probably will put up for sale. The little rhinestones or Aurora Borealis. I don't know if that's coming across. Um, that rainbow colored look is what I mean by that. <laughs> I sell a lot of frog glass and like porcelain things and so I just know frogs are a thing so how much was this half price 250 I don't know sometimes I wonder why I do things but that's really cute so and you can take it off and probably do something else with it right so I don't know if my camera is getting that but that's really cute silver tone I need to go and learn the names of all these kind of chain links okay let me see if I can show this one because some of you might know this. This is kind of a mesh. So if I'm going to attempt to sell jewelry, I'm definitely going to have to go look how to um, what the names of all these weavings of chains are. So I will do that. But this is a nice metal silver tone and enameled in the various color of green. It's probably only worth about ten dollars or so. It's a nice. That's a nice chain, though. Why did I buy this? I don't know. <laughs> it's a donkey. It's a, a political thing. I don't know. I do like this watch, though. 
this is on a rubber band. Uh, I mean, you know, like silicone plastic band makes me, there's no name on it. So it's not waterproof, but the back does say Japanese movement, but the rhinestones are also a purple. Let's see if this will focus. This is really a cute watch. It's beveled. The dial is beveled with purple rhinestones. And then the bezel is purple rhinestones as well. And then this is like a flexible silicone. I wish it had a name, but Japanese movement, that helps a little bit. And I'm just hoping somebody loves the purple, right? This is probably, we're probably looking at $15, $20 at the most on this. It's still nice and clean. So that's a plus, right? I don't wear watches. So I guess I was just hoping somebody, perp somebody loves purple. I don't know what that is. This is, these are kind of recent purchases. We'll get to the older ones here in a minute. This does have a marking on it. Let's go ahead and open it up. This was $2. I just thought it looked vintage and it had a marking on it. I, I couldn't really read it at the store. I remember this. This was about four months ago. Same time I got this and this, I believe. But it looked pretty vintage, gold tone with some like etching or, you know, cut in. I think if that was glass, we'd say like cut to clear, I bet you. Okay. And then it has a name on it. Let me see. JJ. So I don't know if that's a good costume maker or vintage or not, but it says JJ. You guys, let me look this up real quick. Let's, let me find out. JJ jewelry pin brooch. Okay, so JJ stuff, anywhere from, oh, okay, so the vintage stuff goes for a little more, the more like 80s, 90s stuff, people are starting, they're bidding out at five and seven, let's go see what solds are, because a lot of these are on auction, so I can't tell, hang on and I'll show you guys, <clears throat> Oh, you, some of them go for 30 to 40 on this JJ. So, okay. But you know, this one's not all full of rhinestones and pearls or anything, but maybe this might end up being maybe about a $20 piece since it is very vintagey with the etching. I like brooches. It's one of the few jewelry things that I like. My anklets, brooches, and scarves, and of course some belts. And I always liked to wear vintage brooches you know, it, when you're old, when you're younger, it's ironic. Now I'm at the right age to wear brooches, so I don't really know how to approach it anymore. Dollar fifty. Now this one's adorable, with the black and the pink rhinestones. I going to. Uh, this is vintage. I can tell. There's no name on it, but I'm going to try to find this one, because I just think that's really a good colorway on this. I don't know if that's coming across. So I don't know what else to say about that one, you guys. Let's do these. These are some nice clip-on earrings. Look at these. I don't know if I should show it on white or not. That's not going to work, is it? Oh, yeah. Look at those. Clip-on. So those are adorable. And they say something on the back. Let's see what they say. Coro. I don't know. We're going to find out on that, too. Coro jewelry. Well, it's something. It's something because it came right up and there's a lot of stuff on here. Most of it's on auction, so I can't tell what the sold is yet. But those might bring $15 or so. They're adorable. Look at that again. Can, let it focus. It's not focusing very well. Sorry. These make me think very beachy holiday vintagey. I like those. Oh, this was good. I paid $4.99 because it can be a pin or you can put it on as a necklace. And it looked like something that Tanya Thrifty Treasures would buy in a heartbeat. And... It is marked and it is sterling silver. 
it's marked MJ. And I remember I looked this up and I was thinking it was had a resale value of about $30. It's an angel. But I remember it came right up on my phone at the time. But it is sterling silver. It's a pretty heavy piece for, you know, what it, the size of it. So that was fine. That was a fine $5 um, purchase. It's these kind of things I would never look at. But I learned it from um, High Fat Bird Finds. I learned, yes, you can have the watch, Audra A. Um, yes, you can have the watch. Let me put it aside. But Tanya and Thelma Thrift and a couple other girls I watch, they always pick up this kind of stuff. And sometimes it turns out to be what they call James Avery, which is real big in Texas. And it's this kind of 90s vibe. And so that's what I thought. I thought, okay, am I finding my first James Avery? No, but it's still a good name, and it was sterling silver. So it's worth $5 just for the silver. But I remember seeing about 30 bucks on that. This has a name, too. Oh, wow, this one's really small. Sometimes I would have to take a picture with my phone, okay, like at the thrift store, take a picture with my phone and then blow the picture up so that I could see, you know, what something said. And this is so small, even with my loop, I can't, I can't, you guys, sorry. Oh, wait a minute, Jamie Hall. This might be something too. Look, so if anybody knows, save me time. That would be great. I don't know. If, okay, this is how, if, you, if you're jewelry and you know this, it's in there. There's two lines. They're really small. It says something like Janie Hall. You know what? And it says something about a content. Copyrighted and a content. I'll have to take a picture with my phone. Let's see. I don't want to bore you guys with this little stuff, you know, that I'm doing. I just wanted to show you and be like, if you guys know, you can help me. You know, I, this isn't a teaching moment at all from me. This is not in my wheelhouse, except maybe this is a cool idea. You can take the picture at the thrift store and then blow it up. And I have to turn this around and you have to get a clear one. I still can't read it. Something Hall, James C. Hall. Okay. So this one, I definitely also want to set aside this is probably jewelry box stuff like you know oh here's that why would i buy these clip-ons um i think these were a mistake or fell out of a bag or something these are just cheap little clip-ons they don't even look vintage sorry no name no nothing a newer style clip-on in the back see i have no clue I don't know if this is focusing enough. Okay, I'm not even going to pay attention to those. Those will go in the scrap. So do you think do you think a Tiffany copy has any value? <laughs> I don't know. Because there's no markings at all. Not even like, okay, this is gold plated or gold filled or oh, nope, nothing. So probably that's not going to be any good, probably. Okay, but this, this little chunky owl, I got this at the three three sisters. Um thrift shop that I pop in every once in a while to charity for $4. And this is sterling silver. Little chunky, little chunky monkey. So I don't know if the chain is sterling silver, but this guy is for sure. So we'll see if I keep this. Debbie Mitchell, have to be careful reselling fakes, right? Right. I mean, even if I just said bracelet with a bow on it, Still, how much is that going to get? Because, I mean, I would never say like Tiffany copy or anything. Um, but still, I don't think, I'm just going to put it in a lot and let somebody have some decorating fun with it. But this is going to go up for sale. I'm going to weigh the silver content. I already tried to find something like it. I think this is a custom made job because I couldn't find anything. So I hope I'm, my camera is focusing for you guys on how cute this is. <laughs> Super cute. Little chunky owl. Owls are still big, right? So that is definitely going to be for the listing. Um, these have a name. I paid $3.99 and I'm not sure why. I'm sure this was just made from stuff from Hobby Lobby or 
Joanne's Fabrics, all those people that sell the awesome jewelry findings. But I think they did a good job on this. I think they did a beautiful job. These have a name, these little books. And I think I bought this for myself because I was going to go to a... Um, another, I was going to go to California for another meetup, but this was going to be a YouTube meetup. And I think I was going to use it for an autograph book is what I was thinking. But of course I don't get to go. We don't, it was canceled for this year. I may put this up for sale and I'm not sure what you're supposed to use this for, but I was going to use it for a little autograph book of all the cool people that I met. <laughs> so let me catch up with the chat for just a minute. The angel looks like a flattened fork. Let me take another look at it. Yeah, but it's not. Because I remember seeing these. I remember there's a couple for sale on eBay now. So. Oh, here, we'll just go do it real quick. I'll use a, a picture search, okay? I don't know if you guys know. You can do picture search. Because that's one of my secrets for sniping good deals. Okay, there they are. Oh, price came down on some of these. 24, 18, 22, 42. I don't know if it's because the desperate situations that we're in right now, people trying to make money. Let me see. Oh, you the only thing is when you do this search with a picture, you can't look at solds. I don't know why. There it is. Sterling silver, sterling silver, sterling silver. I don't know why that one says unmarked, because mine is clearly marked. Let me see why this. Uh, one picture, what? one picture, people, honestly, I, I just don't get that. Okay, this one's by a different company because mine's in better shape. Mine has a name on it and it's thicker. Okay, so this needs to be handled differently because I this is thicker and better than what they're showing. So definitely going to work on that. I want to show you guys this, the frog. How much was it so I don't forget? 99 cents. <laughs> 99 cents. I'm going to put them back in. It's just a little tie tack or a little pin. Oh, he's adorable. Okay. I don't know how to show you guys this. He's adorable. Oops. And he's got green rhinestone eyes. My camera won't focus. Well, that's so annoying. I hate doing that. So, because that's annoying to wait for someone's camera to focus. Sorry, you guys. He's very detailed. He's gorgeous. He's got little green rhinestone. He's like a tie tack, okay? You know what I mean? <laughs> Adorable. Three-dimensional. 99 cents. It's not gold. It's not gold because I see a little rub off on him. But that'd be awesome if it was. Hey, one time I did find... Um, a white gold ring with diamonds. It wasn't for sale. It was just sitting on a shelf. And I picked it up and just took it. It was just sitting there on a shelf like someone had like was looking at something and it fell off their finger or something. And I waited and I waited and nobody claimed it. I left my number that if anybody and I didn't, I don't get when I find stuff like a purse or a wallet or a phone, I do not give it to the people that work there. I'm sorry. I don't trust you guys. I'm sorry. This could be your last day. I don't know. I tell people, I tell them though that I have something and then here's my number. If somebody can call me and they can identify it, then they can have it. So nine times out of 10, you'll hear something come over the loudspeaker because I'm there for hours. Right. And then, you know, I'm like, raise my hand. Here I am. I've got it. That happened to me like four months ago. All her money. I didn't touch her money. It was all in there. She almost cried. Okay. A couple more pieces, then we'll get to the older stuff that I started throwing in there. Um, these, I bought these because they were $2, and I thought I might wear them. But they're just, vint um, not vintage, but they have a little bit of a vintage look. They have a nice glitter stone, and those... This color combination is very popular again for summer. So <clears throat> just costume jewelry, right? So probably not worth a whole lot, but maybe I'll find some other cool pieces and make some kind of a set, okay? And um, I'm planning on putting some of my costume jewelry on Poshmark as well. So I, and I might end up keeping these. Can you guys see that fire, that fiery stone? This is real glittery, fiery. I don't know if my camera's catching it. I might need a, 
a more, this is a wide angle camera. I might need a more close up camera um, for doing things like this. These are beautiful though. Those little journals are in the steampunk section. <laughs> Whatever she asks specific, she can read the marks, take pictures. Just think of being so chubby, going to make people want it a lot. Yeah, because that's a little different. That owl's just a little different. Adorable. Okay, so th this stuff here, I think, is I'm definitely going to list. This is probably going to be stuff that's going to get lotted up with like with that box that divider box of stuff so bear with me and i'll get out the other stuff oh i didn't do that but i'm pretty happy with these items now i've got some more vintage stuff that's been in there for a long time but i'm pretty happy when i find sterling silver right when you find sterling silver for cheap that makes it definitely fun maybe i should still keep this for a you know, there'll be meetups again soon. That just seems so fun to have people just sign that. I might keep that. Okay, I forgot to show this. <clears throat> $2.99, not on sale, $2.99. Um, these aren't real silver or anything, but you'll see why I bought them. They are cufflinks. They come their own little velvet pouch. And I think... Someone that is a sommelier is going to love these. It's a wine glass or a goblet and corkscrew. Really nice um, silver tone metal, even though it's not sterling silver. And then its own little pouch. But I think a sommelier might like something like this. So there you go. <laughs> corkscrew, wine glass or goblet, and then a little velvet pouch. So $3, but I think I can mark those up quite a bit because there's, I'm hoping there's not going to be a ton on eBay, right? That it's going to be such a unique item that someone's going to be, yes, that's the perfect gift for uh, Thomas or Carol who just got their sommelier license. Or if they're already one and they're working at a high-end restaurant, how cool would that be for them to wear that, Right. So there's a nice gift item because, hey, I'll tell you what, if things don't calm down, people are going to be doing their, a lot of their Christmas shopping online, right? The great, be great for groom wedding in Sonoma County. Hi, Barb. I'm in your territory making a fool of myself. <laughs> doing jewelry. Okay. Let's get out the stuff that's been here, been here forever. Now, this only two years, though, but most of this stuff has been in here for at least three or four years. Uh, this is actually something my daughter inherited, but I was going to get some advice on it. This is a crazy item, too. This is a Harley Davidson pen. We don't need that. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, snap. A smiley face. That's mine. Uh, it's one of those things of like you build a bracelet or something. You buy a strap and you buy the charms and, you know, it slides through. I made one of these um, for Highway that has his name on it when he was little. But look, it's a smiley face. So that's mine. We're going to put that right there. I'm hashtag save the smileys. Okay. This is origami. Oh, my gosh. So expensive. Do you, has anybody ever gone to one of those? These lockets that you open up and you buy the charms that you want to put in it. And it's like one of those home party type things. Oh my gosh. And you feel obligated to buy something. I hate to go to those. You said sommelier. Sommelier? Am I not saying it right? <laughs> Am I not saying it right, Audrey? Anyway, so it was a friend. I had to go do it. I bought me some charms. It's got poker. It's got Steve, my dog, Han H for Hannah, a massage hand. This was a while back. And for esthetician, 
there like this whole thing was like 80 bucks and of course all you to you can get duplicates by going to um hello hobby lobby michaels whatever they're doing the same thing they're not officially origami they're yeah a little bit cheaper of a feel but i don't even know this might have resale value and it comes like this this and this little fortune cookie box it might have some resale value for people who are purist and are like i want the origami but i don't think it's not old enough of a thing for it to be vintage where people are collecting right so i'm not sure origami owl origami owl don't go to one of those parties oh my gosh so expensive but you know sometimes it's a i usually don't go but sometimes it's a friend that you just have to go support that's what happened there okay my daughter this is the last of something she inherited and it says golden citrine 20.20 20 carats in a size and it's got a certificate of authenticity and then there's some other little things in there but i'm gonna pull it out I think she sold most of the things. I can't. Oh, it's sealed. My bad. Sorry, that's sealed. So I don't want to open it. But it's a loose gemstone. Pretty darn big. And it tells exactly what it is. Golden citrine and the size of it. And the carrots. That's a lot of carrots. So and then an authenticity thing or purchase receipt. Four hundred replacement value four hundred and four dollars nineteen eighty three, and it's no like sealed and everything. I don't know. I remember. I know where she inherited from, and that lady um, would go to the science fiction fairs a lot and buy those dragons, and she was collecting gemstones, a lot of gemstones, thinking that they would uh, like an investment, and I I think. Um, my daughter already sold most of them, you know, because what's she going to do with them? So I'm not sure what to do with this last one. We'll see. If she did, she pay $404 for that in 1983. Wow. Okay. I remember buying this. Oh my gosh, this was years ago. I got it at the thrift store for not very much, and it was in somebody's booth, apparently. It says Peruvian shawl pin, $35. It looks like it's missing a couple dangles. I paid half price, $2. Sorry. I don't know why I haven't listed this, because well, I remember looking it up about three or four years ago and that it was actually a thing. So let's go do that again and see. Peruvian shawl pin. Okay, let's see if there's still a thing. Peruvian shawl pin. This one says a hundred bucks, but that this other one's only twelve ninety nine. One's ninety nine cents. I mean ninety nine dollars. Let's see if there's any sold. See, this is such a unique item. This is probably seriously long tail. Okay, Peruvian shawl pin, $38, one sold um, February this year. One sold for $9.99 and one sold for $35 um, last month. So, sorry, Peruvian shawl pin. How would you ever know that, right? <laughs> if it didn't say that, I wouldn't have known. So, um, it's missing a dangle or I think so we'll still put it up and see what happens. Right. Okay. But they're a thing. All right. This is a Trafari. I remember that, right? Yes. See, now I'm probably getting to the stuff that like Barb picky chick would buy and put in her videos. <laughs> this is a Trafari. There's the charm. I've already seen some on eBay, but I can't remember how much this was worth because this has been like three or four years ago, but this is a beautiful piece. Beautiful. Trafari. We'll try it. Let's put it on here because there's going to be a lot of Trafari necklaces. So let's see if it'll pick it up by the picture. 
we'll try that. But then I won't be able to look at solds. Nope, I want to specifically do Trifari. Am I saying it right, Barb? Trifari. Pearl necklace. Filigree. You didn't hear me. Pearl necklace. Filigree. Let's see. So Trafari necklaces look like they're going anywhere from average price is 20 to 30, depending on how epic it is. I see a few $40 ones. I don't see one like this anymore. Why is that one 400? Oh, that's not a Trafari. <laughs> Why is that one 400? Anyways, I think this is probably about a $30 necklace is what I think. I think this is probably about a $30 Trafori necklace. I don't know if you can see how pretty it is. So I like that. Okay. <laughs> Another frog pin. People just like that kind of stuff. I like the theme stuff. An enameled queen bee pendant. These are no names. I probably just lot some of these pendants up together. Oh, this. Yes, this. And I think this is something I found. So I don't know if this is real or not. It has markings on it, so I'm going to have to figure it out. It says 12K, but I don't know if that's just filled or what. And it has like a yellow, orangey stone in it. It's not focusing very well. Yeah, I'm going to have to get an up-close camera if I'm going to do these. It's, it's, I mean, it's nothing like earth-shattering, but maybe that's a gemstone, and it does say 12 carat, so I don't know if that's just gold-filled or not. I, I don't know. It was stuck in here. But this is what I find fascinating. These are old-fashioned screw-on. I'm going to lock these, this kind of stuff together. Not that. Okay, these are old-fashioned screw-on, and they're like a Viking. They're like a three-dimensional Viking ship. Oh, I wish this would focus, you guys. I'm so sorry. I have I only have a wide-angle camera. Okay, they're old-fashioned screw-ons, and um, a three-dimensional like there's three different panels of the of the sails, Viking. Um, a Viking ship. Oh, I love these. I'm going to list them, but I love these. I would wear these even though they're screw, they're, you know, old fashioned screw on. So I need to find out more about these. There's no markings. I remember that. So I will Google lens the heck out of these and try to figure out what these are. I want to get as good of a price as I can from these. Just really nice little like ships with a really like some kind of dragon base and then three panels and then it has the logo of a cross so not not really a cross like a maltese like a maltese okay love these and these are also clip-ons these are very vintage like lucite make them into pierced earrings Hi, Barb. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah, these are just awesome, aren't they, Debbie? So here's, sorry, these are just very funky disco lucite clip-ons. Okay, they got to hold still. Darn it. I need a close-up camera. It has a Boreal inside of this um, triangle pyramid lucite. Adorable. Okay, I love this too. $2.99. There is a marking on it. Let me see what it says. <laughs> it's a penguin, you guys. It says BSA, BSY. So I'll, maybe somebody, the jewelry girl already knows. BSY. And it's a little silver tone penguin with red rhinestone eye and some etching to where it's shinier, you know, where you cut that and it's. Then it's shinier. 
Darn, this is not a good camera for this. That's adorable too. Put that with the pins. People like that kind of stuff. Okay. This is silver. Actually, this was just not too long ago. This is sterling silver too. What is this? 99 cents. Oh, this is new. This is new. I must have bought this for my daughter or something. It's just a rhinestone cross on like um, macrame bracelet. I think I bought that for Hannah. Okay. That's sterling silver. I thought these might be gold. Look at that color. I said, oh, I'll take those. They look like gold. They were just hanging in a bag, but they're not. But they're still cool. They have kind of like a crop circle or Egyptian kind of vibe to them. So they, the tone, it's not brassy. It so looks like gold, but it's not. I'll double test it, but it's not. No markings on them, but these are cool as heck. Very quality. Try to find out who the maker was because those are just adorable. Such quality, too. I was really shocked when it turned out that they weren't, you know. I took a chance. They were just a couple bucks, and they so looked like real gold. That would have been pretty epic, right? I think anyone else might have took a chance on that, too. I don't know what this is. United States of America something. Mohawk. Oh, this is some kind of a Indian. Oh, I see. American Indian something council. It's a coin, a commemorative coin in a bezel, in a silver bezel. So I better double check what that is. I don't know where this came from. But American Indian stuff I know to kind of check, right? So speaking of American Indian stuff, there's some money makers right there. But let's finish this. Um, this is pretty vintage. This makes me think of Whiting and David. It's that silver mesh. Is it Whiting and Davis or Whiting and David? You know, so I bought this and I have high hopes for this. It's just a twisted mesh over a bangle. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I bought it at the same time I bought this mesh little cigarette purse, which you can now use for, you know, something else. So. This stuff was all the rage. This has been popular twice in my lifetime because I wore it also again in the 80s when I was disco queen out dancing all the time. And then I think it was very popular. Wasn't it popular in the late 60s too? For like in the high end designer and the party crowd. I'm pretty sure that we've done this twice in my lifetime. Davis. Pick, Barb says Davis. Whiting, Whiting and Davis. Okay, I know I had a top. It was like a halter top, but you know I wasn't that brave. I would wear it over a Dunder shirt, but it was a me a gold mesh halter top when I went out discoing. And when I went disco and it was way back, it was still when they had lighted up floors like Saturday Night Fever. Remember John Travolta and the lighted lit up floors? The discos I went to still had that as a hangover. Oh man, I kind of want these. Okay, why did I buy this? This says L Raza, R A Z Z A. Jennifer and Barbara, Barb, anybody else? Um, I'm just following Thelma Thrift and Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, Angie, Treasured Vintage, Picky Chick Barb is in the chat, Jennifer Hayes in the chat, Anita Fajita, Fanita, Anita Fanita, a couple other girls I'm forgetting. I don't know. And they always buy this kind of stuff. So I'm like, okay, this one's cute. And it had a name on the back. So even though I don't know what it is, I thought I'm going to get it. It's cats, 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 cats. Let's go check it real quick. We are almost done. So we've got time to check this real quick. Raza Jewelry. Oh, vintage Luca. Oh, L stands for Luca or Lucia Raza. Oh, okay. So that's got some resale value. Definitely. I see some pretty decent, you know. I see 20s, 30s, 40s, depending on what it is. Okay, so that's this was this was smart to buy. So I want to thank you all the jewelry girls that I watch because 
I see, especially Tanya. Tanya loves to pick up this kind of these kind of brooches with kitty cats or birds or whatever. So I'm like, okay, Tanya, I trust you. I think this is one of those gold plated leaves. Just a gold plated leaf. I don't know. I will lock that up with the bumblebee. Okay, uh, this I love. Let me show this, and then we'll get to these three, and that's about it. Except I have I went through my own jewelry too, but I think I'll do that tomorrow. I went through my own jewelry that I've had, some of it since the 90s, that I'm not going to wear. Okay, I paid $6.99 for this. I was thinking this would be for steampunk. Look, let me get it to you guys. Look, isn't that awesome? Um, I'm hoping this, I'm going to list this to the steampunk crowd. I think that's really cool. So, I paid $6.99 for this necklace. There's no other markings on it. So I just thought it was cool. Let's see what happens. <laughs> right? Okay, a couple more pieces, you guys. These are good ones. This is beautiful, and I know this is a thing because I remember France. France, like F-R-A-N-Z. Look at this, you guys. Very clean. I picked this out of a basket at the DAV, which we no longer have. So that had to be at least four years ago. It looks so clean and fresh. Just, dang it. I'm, I'll get another camera for this jewelry if I'm going to continue jewelry. There, that's a little better. This is a lovely vintage piece. Let me go see. I remember getting that. And I remember looking it up and going, oh, okay. And I just put it in the box. That was a long time ago. France, um, Ladybug Burt. Not flower pin. Okay, let's see if this is still a thing. No matches for that name. Did I get that name right? F-R-A-N-Z. Did I get that right? Yeah. Okay. Let me I let me take away. Let me just do pen. Maybe nobody has this exact thing. France porcelain rhodium shamrock pen 144. France porcelain rhodium butterfly pen 113. These aren't sold, though. Let me go look at solds. I hope we're still good <laughs> when I go look at sold, right? <laughs> so, um, darn. Because, you know, people can ask whatever they want. So, okay. Hang with us. Nope. It dropped down. Um, well, one, a hummingbird, $45. 55 for a calla lily by this maker. Okay. 30 for a um, orchid. All right, we're good on this. We are still good on that. 30, 30 for a butterfly. 43 for another orchid. These are fairly recent. 90 crossed out. Someone took a best offer. It was a large dragonfly. So I don't know what they took on that. Okay, so we're still good on this. F-R-A-N-Z. Beautiful piece. It is marked. Beautiful. So apparently this must be porcelain. Porcelain and rhodium. Love this. I'm going to put this. So that's a good piece. And then these two are good pieces. This one I just recently found. I paid $1.99. This is sterling silver. Doesn't have a lot on it. But if you like the sterling silver and turquoise. And you know that, that look. That southwest look or Native American Indian look. And this is a little bit more of a low key piece. $1.99 is an excellent price right? For silver. For 925 silver. So I'll get that cleaned up. And we'll see. It does, it is marked. It doesn't have a name, but it's marked with a symbol. So I'll have to look up the symbol. Kind of like what we do on sometimes on pottery and glass, especially pottery, there'll be like a symbol. We're like, oh great. <laughs> especially if we don't know symbols yet. Okay, now this one, this is an M Thomas Jr. And um, it is marked with his name on the back and Sterling. This cuff is beautiful with the turquoise and it looks like what coral or something else in it. I already looked this one up. This needs cleaned. I've had this for so long. 
Um, people have the, the, his cuffs listed for around four to five hundred, but solds are only around two hundred to two fifty. So I'm gonna call this about you know a two hundred two fifty piece. I'm gonna get that shined up and get it listed. I'm fortunate that it does have a very well. This is Navajo. This is a Navajo Indian jeweler. M. Thomas Jr. And then it says Sterling. So this is definitely a winner. Definitely a money maker. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? So this this is the, probably the winner. This, you know, and you know, this little piece maybe is be about thirty dollars. I don't know. Some of the Trafori, and then what was it? That France piece. So I'm really happy. Oh, I found this on the floor too. This is a sterling silver cross, and it has, someone had it etched. Alex loves you forever. Now, luckily, Alex isn't that strange of a name. I may just clean it up and list it and may get lucky. Alex is a girl's name and a guy's name, right? So somebody, somebody may be like, perfect. It's already engraved. I'll take it. <laughs> so there. So I think I do have some money here when I get it listed, right? Right. Let me ask the jewelry girls. Jennifer, Barb, Audra, you say you know a little bit. I did okay, right? I got some money. Yeah. Barb says um, France is a good one. I'm going to start looking down for treasures right on the floor. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, I found some good purses and things and belts and stuff hidden in between on the floor between clothing racks that I've sold for good money. All right, you guys, let me. Let me bring me back up. Okay, there we go. Oh, gosh. Thanks, you guys. I know that was a little rough with my camera being a wide. See, it's a wide angle Logitech. So I'll get something that's more like that if I'm going to continue to do jewelry and ask people to come help me. you got to be able to see it. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I feel pretty good about my beginnings. And I think it's way past time that I quit being, you know, chicken and start listing this stuff and, you know, add jewelry to my business model. I can do it. My friends are doing it. I can do it. We can do it. All right, you guys, how long have we been on? Ooh, an hour. Oh, wow. You guys hung with me that long. Thank you. All right. If there's anything you wanted before it gets listed here within like, you know, three weeks or so. Just hit me up on, I'm on Instagram. I hope you're following me on Instagram. You can catch me on Facebook and use the um, instant messenger if you need to. Okay. So if there's anything that you wanted, um, Audrey, I did put that purple um, watch up for uh, aside for you. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to go eat dinner and make something for my hubby. Thanks again. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you later on one of your videos.